So next question is from Ander Beth. Can you elaborate on the differing results between low and high rep sets? Oh yeah, this is a, this was a uh, what say that again? Sorry. Low rep and high rep sets. What's the difference between the results? Oh okay, uh, that they'll provide for you. So low repetitions, you're going to train kind of this low gear, grinding summoning of strength. Higher rep, it's like more torque. More yeah, yeah. the higher rep stuff you're going to get, you know, better pumps. It's going to be a little bit more exhausting, a little bit more cardio. Um, both extremely valuable for the body. And now this is an observation. Okay. So I think everybody should train and in, in go in and out of both of them if they want the best results. But when I observe people who avoid one or the other, here's what I notice. So when I see people who only ever train in low reps, here's what I tend to observe in terms of how they look. And this, there's no science to support this. This is all pure <laughs> observation. They tend to look very hard, solid, granite like, but they lack the, muscle volume they lack the big round shape shape that you mm -hmm. see the high rep people tend to have that shape to their muscles but they lack the density it almost looks like it's just full of air so which one gives you which i think the low rep stuff gives you that hard dense look the higher rep stuff gives you that more of that pump kind of bubbly look I think you got to do them both. Both gives you the best uh, results well the beauty is that they both send a, a very unique and different signal to the body so if it doesn't matter which side you, you you're on, most people tend to gravitate towards one or the other. My you know the my guys that love to lift heavy and and mm -hmm. brag about the weights they lift, you know they tend to find themselves always gravitating to those singles, doubles, triples, or maybe five by five type of training, mm -hmm. and they spend a majority of their weight training in that rep range. And even if their goal is to build strength and power and muscle, which that serves that lifting in that rep range serves a lot of that. But because they do that all the time, one of the best things they can do is move to 15 to 20 reps and they'll get a ton of strength yep. and muscle. And so because it's so different to the body, the body, it, it, it feels five reps feels completely different than 15 to 20 reps. And because of that, the body, it's novel. And so the body then changes. And so, and if you're, same thing is true. If you're a person who's, oh, I want to lean down and I want to be toned and I just want to be firm. I don't want to get big bulky muscle. But so you gravitate towards 15 to 20 reps to supersets to low rest periods. You train that way all the time. You still, you switching over to the five by five type of training, five sets, heavy weight, five reps, you will get what you want because it's novel for you also. Mm -hmm. And so the body, and that's what you want is you want your your training, you want to do it long enough to allow the body to adapt and get good at it so it changes. But then after at a, at a certain point, and typically what most of the research looks like is somewhere between that four to eight weeks. So if you've been four to eight weeks in a set, a set rep range, the best thing that you could possibly do is to move to the other end of the spectrum yep. and you'll continue to get the results you want. You know, it was a, was a cool thing to observe with this was uh, your transformation, Adam, because when we first met, you had lived in the 12, 15 mm -hmm. rep range for a long time as a pro competitor. Then we all got together, started mind pump, and then you're, you're like, you know what, I'm going to see how strong I can get in the low rep range. And the change in your physique was interesting. It was like, uh, like, like, like I had observed in other people. You kind of got this more kind of granite look. There was a picture that you actually posted of yourself, uh, you know, before and after, both lean or whatever. My and it back. was, yeah, it was yeah. distinct. So after the first decade of training for me, I, I gravitated towards the, you know, more pumping exercises. You know, I did, you know, ten reps, twelve reps, mm -hmm. fifteen superset. I kind of lived in that rep range. And, if, and something that always kind of bothered me was when I was aired up in the gym, I felt really good. I liked the way I looked. I blood all pumped in there, mm -hmm. and I, my body was all filled out, and my muscle bellies, and, and I liked the look that my physique had. The minute I'd walk out the door, a half hour, 30 minutes later, I would deflate and come down. And when I was not pumped up, I didn't really look like somebody that was really buff. You, you could kind of tell that I had definition, but it, it wasn't as defined or it wasn't as pronounced. When I started lifting really, really heavy, I noticed that even when I'm like falling off for like a week or I haven't been consistent, I haven't been in the gym, you can still see my triceps on me. You can still see my, that was, that was total. that didn't happen until I started really lifting heavy. Yeah. And that kind of speaks to the, 
what you speculated about about because there is no science right now to no. support that it makes the muscle look more granite. Plus, there's such an individual variance. Yeah. I don't even know how you would study that. Yeah, but I but I can attest to my experience of of not really lifting heavy that much, and I intermittently did it, but never like I did when I when we all got together, and it completely changed the way my physique looks, and uh, and now. Uh, I tend to gravitate towards the the lower rep range because I noticed that it seems to keep more muscle on my body than mm. doing like the high yeah, rep. Yeah, I had like the completely opposite experience. Uh, just lifting, you know, the one to five rep range forever, and then anytime I, I brought it up to fifteen reps or so, like even like ten to fifteen reps, like I would just um, I would look in the mirror. I'm like, whoa! It, you just get that immediate sort of definition that you haven't had the entire time. Like I just have this sort of like. F- everything's just sort of the same yeah. you know like kind of a look forever like you, you just build a certain amount of muscle mass and then you know you, you just sort of sustain that muscle mass but the you know the hypertrophy training really shows it off and gives those lines well maybe that's the and maybe that's the real lesson from this conversation is less than less about oh five rep range builds granite type looking muscle right. low rep range builds like this airy do maybe, it all yeah maybe what the real truth is whatever you're doing that you tend you, you only you both. Know, only yeah. you know what you gravitate towards the most to. The most beneficial thing that you could do totally. is the opposite. Totally. Look, this is why all of our MAPS programs phase people in uh, all of those different rep ranges, which, by the way, they're all, and I want to mention this on the podcast, they're all 40% off right now, individual programs, uh, if you use the code uh, SUMMER PROGRAM. 